Hey y'all, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Catching with Kyle. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to change the net material of your Ego net. Alright y'all, so just a heads up, I recently removed the workbench from my garage to make room for a boat project that I'm going to be introducing here in the next couple months. So I have to do this netting tutorial uh, on my garage floor. So please bear with me. So I have my wading kayaking ego net and you can go onto ego's webpage where you can buy replacement netting. So you know, I purchased this one several years ago. The nylon isn't exactly um, the best for fish care. Rubber netting's a little bit easier on their slime coating, and it resists hooks puncturing it. Uh, there's been too many times where I've had um, bass and big bass in the net flopping around twisting treble hooks around and it makes it kind of dangerous to reach in there and kind of sort it all out especially if they could flop again and get a hook in your hand and that's something I would rather avoid so I went on to the Ego website so I ordered my Ego netting, the clear Ego netting which is the medium size which should fit perfectly into this net uh, it's super simple. You've got a couple of screws here. Sorry, I don't know where my Phillips screwdriver is, but they're just little Phillips screws come out super easy. So after you remove the screws, you can take a flathead screwdriver and pry the handle apart. Once we have the handle apart, we need to remove this net piece, the ring, so we can slide the netting onto it. Now the ring should come right out. Ta -da. I don't know why I'm saying ta da so much. Alright, so now you just slide one edge down and work the other one around. take these big rings around the edge of the rubber netting and slide them onto the ring going in the same direction each time. So I'm going from inside out. There you have it. 
just have to spread it out a little bit, make it even. It's a deeper basket than what it looks like on the camera. And what's really cool about these rubber nets is that um, they stretch quite a bit. So if you have a heavy fish in there, um, you'll have some extra room. And now we just have to reattach it to the handle. All right, y'all. There's the finished product. Uh, total time to do this is about 10 minutes. And it's not too difficult. Um, and it's a pretty nice upgrade. So I hope this video helps you all if you need to repair your net or if you want to upgrade like I did. Uh, if you like this video, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment down below and I'll see you next time. Take care.